Hello, Leo. How are you guys doing? This reading is for you. Okay, Leo. Okay, so I just want to clear the energy really quick. Okay. So, Leo, let's see what's coming through for you guys, okay? The Emperor. Wow. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Focus and stability. Sorry. Like a horrible itch. There's something here. Okay. I feel like some of you, you're going to have a guide that has been helping you in spirit. And it's a new guide or something. A new person can be in this physical world that's going to help you. It's like nature, the whole world, the way that the weather is, is going to change for you, to, for you to do something. That's like the energy that I'm getting. Like, you know, if it's easier for you to focus when it's a rainy day <laughs> on something that you're working on, it's going to be a rainy day. You know what I mean? Like, this is the energy that's going on. There's something here that you're destined for that you're very close to reaching. Some of you, it's like your palms are itchy. This is like a sign. This is a sign. Empress. Whoever you're attracting it's part of your destiny for this person, you and this person to come together, for you and this person to do something great, to do something wonderful. Um, if you found this reading, you're somewhere on this journey, whether you're just now uh, having an awakening, you're just now making this dream, this wish for something like this to be possible, whether you have been manifesting this for years, you've been working towards this for a lifetime, it doesn't matter. There is something here very profound that is happening. And you know, the emperor is Aries. So this is Aries season, you know. The empress can be Taurus, which is, you know, next zodiac. Beauty and abundance. This is your divine masculine, your divine feminine energy in higher vibration than ever before. You're matching the two energies. Some of you have been doing some meditating on your yin and yang energy. You can do meditation on your yin yang energy. This is the energy of your kidneys. You can balance this energy. You can imagine anything not needed in this area of the body anywhere in your body leaving your body like black smoke going out to the furthest star of the universe you can't imagine when you're breathing in you're breathing in the light of the universe that is restoring revitalizing mercury retrograde re 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 restoring revitalizing your vitality you as one with this whole universe, your yin and yang energy coming into balance. Some of you are, you know, you're doing this. On your own, you're doing this. Wow. Let's see more. Some of you are going to meet a divine counterpart. And it's been a long time coming. You have the five of swords here. Strategy and resilience. Okay, there is something here about this five of swords. It's a difficult battle for the Five of Swords, but ultimately they win the battle. But it's not without loss. It's not without difficulty. And it can talk a lot about the past. But your success is tied to you overcoming your past. 
the demons of your past, not using them, you you can't escape your past. You can't. You can't escape it. You can't avoid it. You cannot bury it. You can't pretend like it doesn't exist. You have to use it. You have to claim it like it's a part of you, but use it to stand upon, to build yourself up. You have the Four of Cups. Soul searching, reevaluation, re. Mercury okay, retrograde. There is a way here that your past trauma, pain, hurt is making something possible. And you, you, you know, you may not be fully aware how much of a beneficial position this puts you in. Because when something is very, very difficult and it causes immense pain in our life, you know, how can you not see it as a negative? But there's something here that you can use. There's something here that you can gain from this. There is a way that you can turn this into to a benefit for yourself. The Two of Wands. It's just like trying to figure out what's next. Some of you have been trying to figure out what's next here. You have the Shaman. The shaman in this deck is a Hereford card. Something is coming together the way that it's supposed to. Something had to fall apart to reunite. We'll see more. Page of Swords, the Magician. Is somebody watching, trying to manifest this coming back together? Two of Cups. And you have the Knight of Pentacles. You know, something, somebody has their eye watching. There is something now that you see that you're focused on that you're going to manifest with this now. And there is going to be a way that you're manifesting a way for something that means a lot to you. A way forward in your life. A way down your journey that is, um, you know, a wanted way. A way where you're getting your desires. Where you and another person are coming together. A situation that you've been dreaming of is coming together to get an opportunity to do something that you've always wanted to do. We're going to see more about this person and whatever this is. Wow, this is really getting interesting now, okay? I'm going to pull some oracle cards and then I'm going to clarify with the tarot, okay? If you want to like or subscribe, I would appreciate it. Okay, look at this. Spy, watching, inspecting. Yeah, because you know, the page of swords is here. You have I you have attention being drawn to you. This is reminding me of Hunger Games. When she doesn't realize that there are people that are watching her and they send her the little help thing. The little thing. And she has to climb to it and open it, and it's like this thing that heals her arm. For some of you, this could be something where it's like you don't even know that you're on someone's radar and they want to come in and, and, and you know, working with you would benefit them and you winning would benefit them. Like back and forth, it would be good. This could also be a love situation. Alchemy ancestor guides. Yeah. Wow. There, you have a guide that's coming to help you. That's that's what I'm feeling. The second I sat down to do this reading, that's how I felt. And look at the weather, how the weather is changing around her. There's something really important that you feel like you need to do. And you're going to know because when you think about it, right here is just 
glowing with this burst of light. That's very important. You have deception and temptation here. So you need to use your discernment because this is going right on the Page of Swords card and now you have this union and integration. Reunion and soul ties. So it's like, what is the right situation for you? You know, underneath this reunion and soul ties, you have the this this party. It's in the reverse, you know. It's, it's just assistance, spirit guides. Your spirit guides are trying to tell you what what something coming back is not good. Some group of people, you're not supposed to fit in with them. You're never going to fit in with them. And it's not going to work. This is like in Hunger Games. There are people, you know, and, and he's like, oh, who do you want to be a, um, an ally with? And she's like, oh, Max, the old lady, you know, which is so cute. Of course, I would want to be too. But it's like there's other people and it, she doesn't fit in with them. She's not vibing with that crowd. And she's right. She shouldn't have been. Because they were all actually trying to kill her. You know? So there's something here. Spirit, Your spirit guides, you have the two cards in this deck that are about spirit guides, ancestor guides, assistants. Okay, this is really interesting. Now we're going to get tarot so we understand more. Okay, let's put this guy here. Okay, because this is like a situation where it's like, who do you trust, you know? And that's the thing with Hunger Games is she doesn't know. Because then the girl like cuts out her tracker and she's like, wait a minute, are you trying to kill me? And the girl's like, no, these people are trying to kill us. We're saving you. And she's like, wait, are they trying to electrocute us? Like, who can we trust? Who can we not trust? And they separate her from PETA and she's like, so it's like there's certain people that, yes, you can trust and there's certain people that you cannot trust. And they're all vying for your attention. You know, they're all, everybody's looking at you. That's this energy. That's what this is about. We're going to, okay, we're going to, we're going to see. Okay. Let's see about the emperor. This is exciting. This is really exciting here. I love this. Okay, let's see the emperor. Magician and the Queen of Cups. You know, you're manifesting a way out of difficulty. Out of things that have been very difficult for you, have been very hard for you. I feel like there's somebody here that is jealous of you. You know, they see you here as this emperor already. And here is the thing is, you know, it, this is a cycle that never ends, you know? So you can be an emperor mole, but you can still be, you know, there's always gonna be more that you're reaching for and that you're manifesting, you know what I mean? So it's like, I feel like somebody sees you and they don't see, you know, this emotional difficulty that you have gone through. They don't see that you have been, you know, by yourself on your own, you don't have anyone else that you can rely on. You know, they just kind of see you here. And they want to get where you are. <laughs> and this is like something having to do with people realizing that they are responsible for getting themselves where they want to be and not you. So it's like you have to pay very close attention to people who are going to take accountability for where they are in their life or people that tell you a lot of excuses and have a lot of other reasons, however true they may be, about where they are in their life. Because when it comes down to it, it's like talk, 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 talk. But what is physical reality, you know? And that's the thing, is you're manifesting it to not just be a fantasy. You know, you're matching the energies that we just came through. You're matching Pisces energy with Aries energy of this fantasy. I want to make it a reality now. That's what you're doing. 
and it, it's happening. <laughs> and then you want to manifest someone to share it with, and this is all happening. But you have to be sure, is this person the one that I share it with? Or is this person here because I still have a little bit of fear and doubt that I didn't realize was still active somewhere in my vibration that drew this person in, you know? And that's what we're going to find out. Because I feel like there is someone here that's watching. What's the Empress? So you have the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? There's somebody here that kind of wants to swoop in. But that's the energy. Now, this is swooping in energy and... Ten of Swords with the Hierophant and the Lovers. Huh. You know, what's so beautiful is that you have, you know, the symbol that this person is making here. Oh, well, I don't know. He's making a symbol with his hand. You're going to have to believe me. It's the same symbol that the Hierophant is making. Here, you can kind of see it. So this is to be said that there is a point here where you realize something is done and this is how you get to something else. That is something that is the right thing to connect with. There is something here where you have done a work and you have decided, hey, I'm going to do something different. I'm not going to stay in this energy of a victim mode. And it takes one sword to kill someone and this person has 10 in their back. So it's like enough's enough already, you know. But you have to be willing to realize enough's enough already and move on from that. Uh, and the Seven of Swords does talk about having a different approach towards something here. So there is something about somebody maybe coming in with a different approach towards you because something ended between the two of you. And don't be swept away by the words of what this person is saying, by the fantasy of what this person is offering. This is talking about what is established before you. <laughs> you know, all of this time, there's been time that you haven't seen this person. And during this time that you haven't seen this person, you have transformed your life. You have left this state and you have gone into this state, but this person have they. And this is how you're going to know because I feel like you're going to have several different people approach you. And you're going to be the one that is going to decide what you're going with and what you're not willing to accept. And some of it, it's, one, it's like someone's coming in and you're going to assess, is this a healthy option for me? Because after all this time, I changed. Did this person? People can change, but they have to want to change. It has to be their thing, what they're about. And this transformation that you have done, it's very evident in all areas of your life. The people you're around, <coughs> excuse me, the things that you're doing in your life is completely different than before. What you care about, different. Everything is different. And the way you're going to tell if you can trust this person or not is because it's going to be the same thing with them. Or it's, they're going to be the same. They're going to be exactly the same. And that's the thing. Is they're going to try to rope you into familiar. Remember, this is familiar. 
So don't get caught up in how necessarily you feel because familiar can be very exciting, very comforting when it's been a while since you have had familiar around and you can confuse this with your intuition sometimes. So, you know, be very aware of what is actually going on, not what is someone just telling me, you know, and making it sound so good. And I said this and now they're not listening to it. They're changing the subject and now this is happening. You know what I mean? It's like there is very much so that kind of energy. And some of you have already pushed that energy so far out of your vibration that it's not coming back. Uh, and some of you, there's it's still a little bit lingering. But regardless, you're, you're making changes in your life. Yeah. Wow. You have the temperance and judgment here. You're making changes in your life and you're going to be able to come out of this. There is a love here for you that is destined for you. We just don't want you to fall for someone that's trying to um, pull you back down from where you just got out of. Right? Wow. This is really great. This is great. Okay. Four cups. Some of you are going to have dreams. You're going to have daydreams about beautiful things that are coming for you. What's this four cups about? Yeah, you know, you have done a lot of work in your life. There's been disappointments and you said, you know, I'm not going to sit around here and wait for something to happen. You know, I'm going to figure out how to save myself. That's what I'm going to do here. You know, that's the page of swords when you're taking it into your own hands. What I really like about this page of swords is this is the energy I'm getting off of it right now. A lot of you are empaths and you go out into the world and, you know, the way that everybody feels, you're just absorbing it all. And then you're just subject to the people around you and how they feel. And you got to cl cleanse your aura and you have to do salt baths and you have to meditate and you have to do sound bowls and all this stuff. And those are all wonderful things to do. But there is something here that's changing because you're realizing that the switch works both ways. So all of these people out here in the world that are impeding on your energy, when you claim yourself and you're in alignment, you know, at this level, at this height of a vibration with your inner being, with your higher self, with all of this universe, other people's energy is not coming and uh, changing you your energy is going out and impacting others. And that's the change that's happening here. You have the two of cups and you have the emperor. I'm telling you, something amazing is happening here. Something amazing, something um, destined meeting with a person, a uh, destined business opportunity that you're supposed to do that is going to, you know, take on this whole world. It's going to take you to all new heights that you haven't even imagined before. Insight and focus here. There is something here that Spirit is saying. Um, <laughs> This is pretty amazing. That you're, that you're doing this. You're doing this. Okay, what is this Hierophant about? This is during Aries season that you're doing this. Like whatever you're working on, now is the time to forget everything else. Just focus on this. What's the hair thing? Ten of Pentacles. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Some of you are going to, 
you you know, you're so worried about this little situation. Way bigger things are coming for you. Way bigger than you're imagining. Really big things are happening for you. Just focus on what you're doing. And just finish it. Because everything, there are so many things that are coming from this. So many things. You've been praying for this for a long, long time. It's time for you to receive this blessing. Yeah, love is going to come. You don't have to worry about that. And it's so interesting that you have the de deception, temptation, and then you have the integration and the union. It's like the way it is on the board is this way. So I should hold it up like this for you. So it's like this deception is coming first. Don't fall for it. Hold out for the real deal. And you're going to know you know why. Because if you push away the real deal and pour your energy on into yourself, it will come back around and it will it will be healthy. It will still be there. It's not going to go anywhere, <laughs> you know, and it will just feel right. You'll just know, <laughs> you know. But when it is something that is deceptive and a temptation, it's very forceful for right now, right now, right now, right now. This needs This needs to happen right now. You know, that person is going to be very much so persistent on this happening right now and trying to manipulate and change your mind versus when you have this energy. Hey, you take a lifetime to decide I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you know, it's just different. Some of you are not used to a healthy situation in love. You just don't know what that looks like yet. You know what abandonment looks like. And you know what it looks like to imagine this world by yourself. Well, that's going to change. Look at this. Four of Wands. I'm telling you. What the heck? Could have to do with the event you're invited to and you just feel called to go. You just feel pulled to go to it. Okay, well then go have fun. It's going to be amazing. You know, and then you have the tower here with the three of pentacles. So this is a sudden opportunity for a collaboration after going somewhere. So pay very close attention to just, it feels like a chance opportunity. It's not a chance opportunity. You just feel like doing this. You just feel like entering this. You just feel like you should go here. Why not? You have a dream about this place. Now you want to go visit it. There is something here that the universe is like, yeah, pay attention to what you think is right and not what anybody else thinks. You have the Queen of Swords here, and you know, she has these yellow butterflies up here. I always tell this story of the movie Aeronauts. Okay. Eddie Redmond, Raymond Redmond is in it. And you know, I don't really know his last name, but it starts with a red something. And nobody believes he wants to be, you know, in hot air balloons. Nobody believes him. Everybody thinks, you know. What he's trying to do is ridiculous and, you know, it's when hot air balloons are new and he goes up, you know, he finally goes up and he breaks this world record, you know, and he sees a yellow flock of yellow butterflies and there was somebody else at his school that, you know, made this thesis that these butterflies fly this high in the sky and nobody believed him, you know, so this is like saying, you know, the journey for him to get to this point, to get the funding, to go up in this hot air balloon and to get somebody else to go with him. Everyone thought he was crazy. You know, there was nobody that believed in him. And then eventually once he pursued, you know, listened to himself and went for it and went for it and went for it, you know, and he's up in there and he's breaking world records. Then he sees the yellow butterflies and then it's like, okay, I, you know, now I can help this person. Do the same thing and also finding like-minded people you know you're gonna find it up there the thing is is there's a lot of room at the top and everybody can be there and we want to see everybody when we want to see everybody get there but there comes a point where you have to put everything else aside and just say this is my moment i'm going for this and the people that you you know need are going to show up along the way that's why you have this ancestor uh, guides and spirit guides, assistance cards. Because now it's your time. Now is your moment. So don't miss your moment. 
you know? You have memories of love and you have harmony here. There is something here about, okay, you need to be the vibra vibration of love in order to receive it. So there is something here about, you know, and I just, look, you have temptation. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. What the heck? This is the same. This is the same as this. Look, look, look. Wow. Wow. Okay. So. You need to pay attention to what you're you what you're thinking about. Because here's the thing. If you're thinking about a past situation where someone, you know, deceived you in some way, where you were not you didn't get what you wanted from that situation for whatever reason, okay? And <clears throat> Any level of deception that was attached to that. You don't want to be daydreaming about this situation because you're going to attract the same situation again. It's like you want to think about this. That's the thing is memories of love. This is not love. This is, you know, seduction. This is lust. But that's not love. You know, that's not this. It's very different. And that doesn't, you can have passion be involved in love. Oh yeah, you can. And you have that here with, with this, with the harmonious, you know, union here, you have it. But you, you want to have, okay, so the memories of love, it's like, what are you thinking back to? Because it's like, that's the frequency that you're going to attract next. So it doesn't matter you have to be the frequency of what you want. And if you're in a frequency of lust, you're going to get lust. So look, you get destiny every single time I use this deck. Every, 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 every single time. It's your destiny to have it all. Not just this part of it. That's a fragment of what all the rest of this is. So there is something about memories of love that you're letting going to let go of. That you're going to say this is not love, actually. I built this whole dream in my head of where this is going. But what I actually experienced with this person, it was not that. And I don't want to attract that again, you know. So it's like you want to imagine what would it feel like to have a healthy love. To have a love situation where this person chooses you. They could choose any single person on the planet. Imagine this person. God, spirit, source, whoever pulls this person and says, here is the entire planet before you. Pick a human and they're yours. And this person chooses you and they would choose you every single time, every single lifetime. As you are, as is, you are worthy of that kind of love. And this is the kind of thing that you want to uh, visualize and be the frequency of. And so when you love yourself as is, and you're focusing on your own passions that you care about, this is how you're going to attract another person who's going to love you as is for all of the reasons of who you are. So this is the change. The change is you. Wow. You're magical. Okay. Let's see anything else about this. Excitement. Something really magical is happening here, is unfolding here for you. You have originality. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. This is your original love story. This is someone who loves you for you being exactly you, the way that you are, the person that you are. You know, you have a lot of cards that turned over here. So yeah, you have pace, patience and organization. Allow time for things to come together. Don't be tempted to rush into a situation here. Uh, realize that you don't need to rush. 
If it's the right situation, it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, idealism and egotism. There is something here about you have this idea of what it is that you want to happen. And there could be a person here that is trying to tempt you in a way and they know what it is that you want. This is like reminding me of Bob Marley and he said like a quote that's like, this could be, the quote is like about women, but it can be, if you're a man, just stretch it. So it's like, the, the biggest coward is a man who awakens a love in a woman with with no intention of actually loving her. You know, they just know that this is the only way to get what they want from this woman, you know. And you can reverse that if you're a man or, you know, if you're two women, whatever, two men. But it's just like, you get what I'm saying. There is something here about a person who knows what it is that you want. And they're going to use that to their advantage. So you need to pay attention to that. Just because something is familiar, it doesn't mean it's right. You know, you have had a lot of difficult things happen to you into your life and that is familiar to you. And so then you think that this is it. And this is how the same thing keeps happening over and over and over again. You have to recognize, okay, this isn't special. This is familiar and I deserve better than this. So I'm going to make something else familiar. I'm going to make harmony familiar. I'm going to make a healthy love familiar. I'm going to make healthy self love familiar. I'm going to believe that I am worthy of unconditional love. That, you know, optimism because you have riches here. Look at this. Eccentricity. There's a lot of things possible in this world. A lot of things possible in this world. And your life is going to be something really amazing. It already is and it's continuing to grow that way. So spirit wants you to understand that. Wow. What a beautiful, okay. I feel like I need an Archangel Michael card and then we're done. Let's see what else. This is beautiful. This is really amazing. I love this so much. Okay, the zodiac signs you have. Aquarius, you have Leo. You got Sag, you have Gemini, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, Aquarius again doesn't have to be one of those signs but um, can be okay you have detached from the situation wow Archangel Michael I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and this situation So there's something here you're cl you're clearing out. It's been cleared out, but it's like you're attracting. It's like a magnet now that you switched it the other way, but it's very powerful and you're still getting used to this newer vibration, all this power that you have. So it's kind of like a vacuum. You suck into everything at once. So don't let the deception part in. Don't let this part in <laughs> the, the, that you already overcame. You know what I mean? That's what this is talking about. And that's, you know, that that's the energy that you're moving into. You're doing this. This is great. Okay. Thank you, Leo. This is what I have for you. If it resonates and you want to like or subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay. Um, also, I have a book. It's called One Light. It's all about the law of attraction manifesting. So if you're interested, it's in the description. Also, I have a TikTok. It's called Selena Rose Tarot. And I put messages on there daily if you're interested.